I have docked with the Belsavis space station. Roth, Belsavis has been the Republic's best kept secret, hidden even from the hand. The disappeared reappear. The planet has been a prison for the galaxy's most dangerous criminals and many presumed dead Sith agents. It houses the blood of the betrayer. I struggle to understand what he says. Servant 2 has been exposed to the Emperor. He now sees the galaxy differently than most. It was Servant 2 who realized what was happening on Belsavis. When the prison manifests were leaked, Barris discovered that Darth Ekkage, his sister, was alive and imprisoned there. The blood of the betrayer. Darth Ekkage was a member of the Dark Council and leader of the Sith Infiltrators. If she is reunited with Barris, many more will bow to him. Who are the Sith Infiltrators? The Wrath falters. The Sith Infiltrators are no more. The galaxy's deadliest assassins, feared by enemy and ally alike. Barris's old nemesis, Noman Carr, destroyed Darth Ekkage and ended the Infiltrator's reign of terror, or so it was thought. If Ekkage and her assassins are released, the Sith Infiltrators may be reborn, and their power will make Barris unstoppable. There will be no family reunion, I swear it. The betrayer's blood must be spilled. To crack the door to Belsavis, the Emperor has directed the Guardsmen to coordinate extractions from the prison planet. A clever cover. Get authorization to shuttle to the surface and compel the Imperials to reveal Barris's agents. Stop them from releasing Darth Ekkage. I seek information about a mission to break out Darth Ekkage and her assassins. That's Lord Melikoth's mission. He and his team have been permitted to venture deep within the Belsavis prison. The order came directly from Darth Barris, and you don't have clearance to know more. I'm not leaving until you tell me everything. I will not betray my orders. Colonel, what are you doing? We're in the presence of a Sith Lord. It is our duty to aid in any way. Stand down, Captain O'Clart. I will not, my lord. Lord Melikost invaded the prison this morning with a squadron of commandos. He's placed them throughout this level of the prison to cover his descent and to secure the area for his exit. Does he suspect that he'll be followed? I don't believe so. He said that this mission is of the utmost importance. I think he's just being thorough or paranoid. We don't know exactly where Melikost is headed, my lord, but Lieutenant Cade, the leader of his commandos, might. Trouble is, Cade's men stationed in this sector will report any activity. If you're unwelcome, they'll warn him and Melikost. Do you have any advice on how I should handle that dilemma? Me? My lord, I... I figure the Sith run this empire, so the rest of us are... well... fodder. We all know that. Captain, are you telling this Sith to go out and kill fellow soldiers? That's treason. I'm reporting you both to High Command. Darth Barris will know what has transpired here. I cannot allow that. Your decisiveness is enviable. I will cover your back, Sith, and Darth Barris will be none the wiser, you have my word. If Cade's commandos don't harm him, you'll surprise him in his bunker. He'll tell you where Lord Melikost is headed. Men, I'm assuming command of operations. First things first, dispose of Colonel Trill. Bravo 553, do you copy? This is Command Center, report. Bravo 553, do you copy? Your units are gone, Lieutenant. What? Why? What's the meaning of this? My men and I are here in support of Lord Melikost. If you're responsible for this, you will answer to him. No, he will answer to me. Tell me where Melikost is, and I'll gladly present myself to him. Damn these Sith games. 
Lord Melacost proceeded into the high security sector of Belsarvis. He's after the records room of the Blown Republic prison there. He seeks the location of a former Dark Council member. I can be of assistance in such an important matter. This mission is top secret. I don't think Lord Melacost is looking for help. And something tells me if you were here to help him, you wouldn't be slaughtering my men. All right. What now? Do I have to kill you to keep you from warning Lord Melikost that I'm coming? Absolutely not, Sith. I mean, my lord. I shall report it to Lord Melikost as scheduled, and not before. Hello out there. A word, please. I am Jedi Master Samanik Timms. Come out of there, friend, so we can talk properly. Good try, but I sense your nature. I know you are Sith. I even know who you are. Many years past, I was the Padawan of Master Noman Kar. He and I forged a bond through the Force. I know about your confrontation with Master Kar and what you did to him. Does Master Car fare well? He's never been the same, and he no longer communes with the Force. Ever since you defeated Car and took Jaysa Wilson, the Jedi Council has been keeping track of you. We know you are no longer aligned with Darth Barriss, and are in fact here to stop Lord Melikost from freeing Darth Ekkage. Nice to see you Jedi aren't always in the dark. You'll find we are not as inept as your former master may have suggested. It's a dead end, Sith. To follow Lord Melikost, you need information from the computers in this room, but the door has been fused. I came for the same reason. I got the information, but Lord Melikost's commandos trapped me in here. Tell me how I can break you out. Our combined strength, striking the door from both sides simultaneously, could break the physical seal. Trouble is, there's a fail-safe force field that makes even that impossible. Now, if you were to take out that force field... If I do this, you'll give me access to the information I need. You have my word. There are several power stations feeding this installation. Destroy them, and the force field will not engage. Then you and I can break through this door, and you can access the prisoner reports. Stop talking. I'll do it. Glad to hear it. Scour the area and destroy the power stations. Then return and start banging on the door. We'll work it out. I'll be waiting. After all, where am I going to go? Had to be with me for that.
I have returned, Jedi. The power stations are down. Great. With the force field down, we should be able to break the door open. On three. One, two, three! Well done, Sith. Now, wait a moment. You're Jason Wilson, aren't you? That's right, Master Timms. I thought I sensed a serene and tempered presence through the door. Any regrets, my dear? Joining up with this rogue? Most days, no. I believe all beings have a great capacity to change. We have more important matters to attend to. That we do, Sith. Now before you think to fight me, Sith, I suggest you inspect the computer banks in here. I'd say they've seen better days. Hmm, still smoking. I wonder who could have destroyed them. You destroyed the computers, so I couldn't get the information I need. I did it to make sure no one else sent by Darth Barriss could succeed. That is, after you and I stopped Lord Melikost. Now I'm the only one who knows where to go. Our goals are one, even if our motives vary. I suggest a partnership. I'll keep my anger from consuming me, Jedi. For now. Once the deed is done, we are enemies again. So, no victory celebration then? Too bad. All I'll tell you is that we're headed for Deep Prison. The exact location of Darth Ekage's cell remains my secret. In good faith, I'll point you to her assassins. You can make sure they remain locked up while I get access to the Deep Prison. How do I know you'll make good on your promise? Because it's practical and I am nothing if not practical. You might get the assassins to back down without a fight. Me? Not so much. Here are the coordinates. Holo me when you're done and we'll get together and face the darts. It really will take both of us. A Sith approaches, I sense hostility. Your rescue has been sniffed out, Imperial. Men, lock and load. We got company. Stay your triggers, Imperial. I want to know what this one intends. My authority comes from the highest station. I am the Emperor's wrath. There is truth in your words. I can feel it, but I sense hostility toward my mistress, Darth Ekage. All you need to know is that our Supreme Master is displeased with your mistress. I will be on the right side of the Emperor. My fellow infiltrators and I pledge our support to you and the Emperor. We will slaughter these commandos and then free our remaining brothers. A wise decision. We welcome your allegiance. Um, excuse me, sorry to interrupt. You're, you're not really going to slaughter us, are you? No, not really. My fellows, we are not only free of these cells, we have been liberated from the rule of Darth Ekage. We will not interfere when you face Darth Ekage, my lord. You have my word. You will be summoned. Be ready to serve the Emperor. We will answer that call. May your strength surge when you face the Mistress. Tim's here. Darth Ekage's assassins have been dealt with. 
Have you managed to accomplish your part? Well, yes and no. I found a route into the deep prison, but it was a struggle. And unfortunately, the way collapsed behind me. Bad luck, that. We'll have to find a different route to this level. Leave that to me. Didn't think I needed to hold your hand. Sending the coordinates for our rendezvous. From there, it's quick to Darth Ekage's cell. Good luck, Sith. I hope you make it. Can't really do this alone. My lord, you are freed. Rage, wrath, vengeance. I've been dormant too long. I need outlets. Had my brother sent anyone else, I would destroy them for practice. Why did it take Barra so long to discover Belsavis? He must be getting weak. Barras has ascended to the Dark Council and with your help, will soon be named the Voice of the Emperor. If my dear brother has everything under control, then where are my assassins? I sent my commandos to release them. What do you sense? Before you arrived here, I sensed my assassins being freed. And then, someone turned their hearts against me. I don't know what to say, my lord. I've taken every precaution. You've grown incompetent in your old age. I believe I will vent my frustrations after all. I will tell your master, my brother, the future voice of the Emperor, that you died like a dog. You are truly Barris's kin, to betray someone so loyal to you. It is a family tradition. Now, exactly who are you? He's with me, Eckage. Nomenkar's sad little whelp. This just gets better and better. If you're aligned with this Jedi, you are a fool and a traitor. I am the Emperor's wrath, unleashed by his hand, and the Emperor has marked you and your brother as enemies. So, the Emperor's hand now works with the Jedi. No wonder my brother defies the Emperor. Varus will be declared the voice of the Emperor, then he and I shall dominate the Empire. I'm not going to miss that. I just destroyed a lord with a mere flick of my wrist. 
Don't blink. I'm about to do it again. We fight together, sir. My powers waned as I languished here? I am your better. Pretend otherwise. Your heart knows the truth. I'll never understand the pleasure your kind gets from rubbing it in. Before you get any creative ideas, my friend, help me reseal Darth Eckage in her cell. Here's a better idea. Barris will avenge me. She was defeated. Done. You shouldn't have killed her like that. We could have locked her away again. Now there is no chance of her escape. Admit it. This is the best option. The logic is sound, but it still feels wrong. I hope you'll come to see that to defy your former master, you have to walk a different path. Now, what's to be between us? Do we part as friends or as enemies? We fight the same foe. Perhaps when this war is over, we will talk. I'll look forward to the opportunity. Good luck to you, Sith. Was that wise? My lord? Allowing the Jedi to live? He earned my tolerance by being useful. Now, we return to the ship and inform the Hand that the deed is done. The Wrath ascends. Darth Eckage will not be joining her brother. Yes, with Varus's sister silenced, our enemy grows angry. But he has other endeavors that must fail. The key Dark Council member who opposes Barriss' attempt to be named Voice of the Emperor is Darth Vauron. Vauron is spearheading the battle for Corellia, and Barriss secretly undermines his efforts. He hopes to orchestrate Vauron's failure, or death. What will Barriss gain if Vauron fails or dies? The pendulum swings with Vauron's weight. Vauron alone holds the defiant Council members together. Barriss' attempts to weaken his Corellia campaign must be thwarted. The Empire's Armageddon Battalion was to be assigned to Corellia, but Barriss redirected it to Hoth, where its strength is being wasted. General Greest commands. He must be convinced to abandon Barriss' orders and take Armageddon Battalion to Corellia. Tell me about the General. Will he be easy to convince? I served with General Greest for a time, my lord. As tough as they come and stubborn. Resistance cannot be accepted. Armageddon Battalion must be reassigned. Do whatever it takes to make it happen. Great. Back to the deep freeze. Hoth is a big place, my lord. It could take a long time to find Greest. Commander Slint is Barriss's man there. He'll know where to find Armageddon Battalion. Ah, yes. Excellent thinking, my lord. Of course. Barris is rather tough on underlings. Assuming Slint hasn't been disposed of, he's your best lead. Let's hope he's been an obedient little soldier.